Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's almost the morning of day 48. And we got another screamer. Last night. A bunch of zombies are trapped in this vestibule. Shit, she screamed. Not exactly sure how she saw me. I really hope she burns out in there. But we got a ton of resources already. 448, uh... 448 electro electronical parts. Electronic. Electrical parts. Not really too worried about this. I mean, most of these guys should probably burn out in the vestibule. But we got, like, we got pulse grenades and stuff too. Now, I don't think that was, well, maybe it was an official scream. I see a, uh... Yeah, tough, gu tough guys in there. We'll wait till morning before we uh, blast our way out of here. Yeah, there's a... Oh, there is a demon in there. At least I'm pretty sure I saw the particles. Yep, there is. Oh, shit. Alright, we got... Yep. I think there's more than one. This is exactly what I did not want to have happen. In case they poke their nose through. Now, I don't know... I'm gonna try this here. Where am I... Here we go. Don't know. That will transfer through. Man, I don't know about this. Got one more after this. There may be more than one there. Oh, there's a behemoth. Somebody died, though. Alright, we gotta do this. Okay, we gotta get some more fire in there. Let's get you reloaded. Let's just scrap that. Where's my junk turret? Okay. We just can't have another screamer. So once this guy's gone, I'm gonna go with the M4, it's silenced. Oh, you're stuck. Okay. No more breaking shit up. There's somebody else up there, though. At least it sounded like there was somebody else up there. Okay, well... Yeah, I hear him? Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. I don't know what, um... What that is, though. Don't need the cloth. Mm, I'm sure there's, like, this is only worth a hundred. Let's just scrap it. I gotta break a few more things down here. Uh, at least one more. Let's just go that route. Alright, now. Where are you? I'm wondering if it's going to be better to get out of here at night time. There's nothing else in here we need. 
Maybe we just get on the bike and go. I don't want to risk it, like, now. We've got everything we need. Let's not risk anything. Um, what do I really need down here? Don't need those down there anymore. Um, yeah, I know I'm encumbered. Leave me, cut me a, some slack here. Shovel, maybe. Should not be encumbered now. We've got three contact grenades. Okay, are we reloaded here? We are. Let's have something to eat before we get out of here. Now, because it's nighttime, Feral Sense is not on. Which means there's still a possibility that we can sneak out of here. So even if there's a uh, behemoth out here, I was not expecting that second screamer, although I was taking a lot of old me mechanical and electrical parts, or electrical parts of things apart, so. Dead bear. But it's just. I'm sure I was hearing it. Alright. I'm gonna see if there goes if there's a town. Let's head over that way. So that research bunker, I think, went probably as best as it could have went. We got two screamers. Um, I've done it before where I haven't gotten any screamers, and I've done it before where I couldn't get out because of the number of screamers. So, like, and I died multiple times in there. So there's it's really just uh, timing, right? It's the knowing exactly what you need to do, you get in and you do it, and that's it. Now, me taking all those electrical parts apart, um, you know, called in that second screamer horde, but they get caught, I mean, if you have enough molotovs and some grenades and stuff, they get caught in the vestibule, and, you know, unless they're ridiculously strong, like behemoths and stuff, you can just molotov them down until they're dead. And molotovs are cheap enough to make. So, I mean, that's always an option. But there, I know there's a few blocks on top of the actual research center, and there's a couple in the walls, I think, that are, like, either steel or, like, cobblestone that you can break through to get out as well. I saw Guns, Nerds, and Steel do it. He found a cobblestone block. There's a town over here. He found a cobblestone block behind one of the electronics um, panels. On, so if you're going through the front door at the bottom of the, the ladder... Uh, at the very back on the left-hand side, almost said right, but very back left-hand side, uh, the electronic panels against that wall, if you take them down, then um, um, there's a cobblestone block there, so you could technically dig your way out if you get trapped. But if you do it right, like if you've never been there before and you don't know what you're doing, yeah, it's a problem. Like you could... I mean, you, I can easily see you not walking out of there. It's happened to me. I'm, even even knowing what I'm doing, it's happened to me on multiple occasions. Where just too many spawns happen at the very beginning. And because there's two spawners going, you know. Um, you just get overwhelmed, like, really quickly. So, you gotta just know what you're doing when you're going in. And then, uh, hope for the best. Alright, we're gonna just... Talk to Hugh. Well, yeah. Is there a blood moon coming? Okay. So I suppose you want to be paid. Oh. I get two, so I'm taking both of those two. Alright. Um, was that the Eve job? Probably. Uh, may I see your inventory? We got some stuff to sell you. Let's just get it out of here. So that can go. Actually, I'm going to hold on to that because I might use it. That can go. Mm, we got lots of military armor. Those guys. You don't want that guy, eh? How come you have so many steel clubs, buddy? You don't want those either? Really? Alright, well, all this can go. Alright, that brings us under. Do you have anything important? I'll take your Molotovs. Definitely use those. Can we top you? We have enough to top off. Uh, I'm gonna buy all your 762. Hopefully we... Okay, we've already dropped down, so we've saved another spot. 
Uh, what else do you have? Shotgun rounds. We're okay on... Sh Actually, should I buy a stack while I'm here? Probably. Because we can carry them back. Okay. Uh, more mo one more Molotov. I'm probably going to miss something here. But that's fine. We just got to make sure we get what we need. Alright, so... No gunpowder. Uh, I don't need anything there. Um, hazmat fiber. Or hazmat outfits stuff. Nothing. All right, we're done. Good we're out of here. I mean, good luck getting back. Is that what you're saying? All right, we got to go to Eve. So, the map. Uh, we cross there. Let's head up a different way. Let's follow this road. I'm actually going to go ahead and throw on the hazmat stuff now because we're going to just bolt through the wasteland. The shotgun out. So I'm going to follow the road as far as I can uh, before we get to the wasteland. Once we get to the wasteland, um, I'm going to put a marker where we need to be. Where it is the road? Well, it's over this way. Um, I'm going to park, put a marker kind of heading towards Eve, where I think we'll come out of. There's the road. Um, so what we'll do is we'll travel this road as far north as we can go and then if it veers off to the uh, east then what we'll do is just hop off the bike and pick it up and head to the west because we have to go to Eve to get our next quest she's going to send a, send us to Anna who will give us the finer, final bunker quest but Anna's place has got a bunch of lockers and stuff in it as well so we may find the laser gear there. I'll, however, I'm not going to go to Anna's for a bit. I'm going to wait. Because I don't think... Even with my game stage where it is, and my loot bonus as high as it is, we didn't find any laser pistols. So I'm going to have to wait a bit, I think, before I go to her in order to maximize my salvage out of her place. Alright, we're headed northeast now. I don't like this. Let's have a look at the map. Whoa, man. I don't want to get too far, of course. Alright, we're going to head over here. We've been heading northwest for a fair bit here. Now there's a pathway here. Um, and of course it ends right here. And there's a road. And we're at the wasteland. Oh, it's not a road. We're at the wasteland. Okay. So let's pick you up. Gas you up first. Pick you up. Uh, let's switch these out. Just in case we got to pull up onto something. You're loaded. You're loaded. You're loaded. All right. Well, we've got our radiation gear on. Let's find out where Eve is. That's where we got to go. All right. Should be a straight shot straight through the wasteland. Let's not die. Wait, what? How am I only at 60%? Shit, I got guys on me now, too. Got some more coming. How was I only... Oh! Oh, man, really? I'm an idiot. Fuck off, Kenny. I am not in the mood. Okay, now I think vultures spawn in the wasteland, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna save a slot. We'll burn that. Um, we're overweight. Why are we overweight? You know what? those. Grab that. Alright, now, we're gonna bring down... Where's the coffee? You, instead of you. And we're gonna go ahead and use... Did I keep the... Uh, I didn't. I thought I had the... Uh... 
shit. Damn it, I thought I kept the steroids. Oh well. We're gonna be a little slower than normal. What's our mobility at? Maybe I should just... Oh, what's my mobility? I got to ditch some stuff, I think. I don't want to be slow through here. Uh, where are we? 106, so we're at 121. Yeah, we should be fine, right? Should be fine. Now we're at 100%. Two kilometers to get to her, which means we've got about a kilometer and a half to get out of the wasteland. All right, well, one good bit of news, I think. Oop, there was a mine. Too bad we're too fast. Um, one big good bit of news, I think we're past the point now where it would tell us if a horde was going to uh, be coming tonight, and I don't think we're getting one. So hooray for that. Well, at least we'll find out now if a bear can run us down. There's another mine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Echelon. Dodge, weave, parry, thrust. Don't run in a straight line. Don't run in a straight line. Don't do it. Don't run in a straight line. <laughs> Get behind some buildings. Another bear. I don't think the bears can catch us, which is good. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be this exciting, actually, running through the wasteland. But it's like, it actually isn't that bad. Like, once your speed is at a certain point... And you're not losing any stamina while you run. I mean... And once we switch... Like, once we get our... I think we're going to go transhuman or whatever it is. The one that gives us extra mobility. I think we'll get another total of, like, 14 or 15% mobility. There just isn't anything that's going to catch us. That's the beginning of a wandering horde. At least that's what it looks like. Could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's a wandering horde. Which means the one that we got last night was a Screamer Horde. Because I thought it was weird that they spawned in the middle of the night. Because they usually show up during the day. Wow, we're getting way more portals now on this side than we were over on the other side. What are we at now? Alright. 600 meters, I think, so or so to go. Not too bad. Uh, now, I don't think we can outrun that guy. So I'm going to go around him if I can. I know he's damn fast. He should lock onto me very shortly, though. Feral sense on during the day. It's, like, brutal, right? Especially if you're going through the wasteland. But if we have enough of a head start on him... There is another one. Fuck it. Man, we're going in the wrong direction here. Well, we're still okay, I think. That's why I wanted to make sure we had our uh, health up to full. So we don't have to worry about those guys spitting at us. I'm interested to see. I wonder if there's a way. Oh, there's the desert. There should be a way we can do a side by side comparison to, um, you know, 110 mobility with the glasses and then having the shotgun out for an extra 10 and then having the 5% jacket for 125% run speed. Then take your transhuman, which gives you the extra 15% or whatever, whatever it is. So 140% run speed. How that would stack up against vehicles like I mean no vehicles are definitely good for the, the carrying capacity but like I mean this makes fighting a horde on foot viable with parkour in a city if you don't have lag it is viable like you could do it like, we have nobody we got a couple people chasing us now but They'll, they'll stop in a few minutes here once we get to uh, Eve's place. Actually, that's not Eve's place. Is that hers over there? She's up here somewhere. I want to drop the motorcycle down here in a second, but I want to make sure we don't know one chasing me first. Yeah, we're looking good. Okay. Um, can put you down. 
Bring the bike down. Alright, let's get to Eve's place. Alright, Eve's was a little farther than I thought. I'm glad I used that tower as the waypoint though, because if I used Eve's place, I would have probably gone through the wasteland a lot. Like a lot further than I, I should have. Forgot to swap out my hazmat gear, but here's uh, Eve's place. Okay. What's up, kiddo? Here's what I have. Got any jobs? Visit Dr. Anna. There it is. Alright, let's get our gear back on here. Oh, okay, I feel pretty good now. Where is Dr. Anna? 8.2 kilometers away from me, and I bet you she's way down here. Uh, no. Where is she? Oh. Oh, that might not even be... Wait a minute. I haven't checked down here yet. I haven't gone down this way, so there might be another... This might actually not be in the wasteland. Oh, hey, buddy. All right, let's go get some lead, because that's what we need to do today. Now we got a free day, kind of. Put some stuff in the bike, and we'll get the hell up to our lead mine. Okay. Yeah, I gotta say, putting that supercharger on this bike was one of the best things I did. Such a huge time saver. I mean, I know I should have done that from the very, very beginning, but... Yeah, you know me. All right, well, let's murder... Whoever's currently around. I'm sure we'll get more. Actually, let's put this... Right there. Play smart. Play smarter, not harder. Well, we found some iron. It's good because we need that as well, but we need lead more. I can get iron from underneath our house, so I can try and stick with as much lead as I can here before this place collapses. All right, well, I think I'm going to head out of here now. We've got almost three stacks, so I think what we do... Plus, I want to get to Jen's place today. She restocks, so... Yeah, we got two and a half stacks, a bunch of stone. You know, I don't need this one piece of wood. A little bit of iron. Okay, we're good. I can come back another time. We really need to come back here. So we got to get to Jen's place. Uh, how much oil shell do we end up picking up? It's like a couple thousand. It's like 20,000, so it's probably fine. Uh, but whatever we can in storage. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, so, I mean, going back in the series, I was like super lackadaisical at the beginning of the series. It's kind of caught up to us. It's day 48 now. We just finished the research bunker, which we should have done like 20 days ago if we, when we had, well, got the quest. We should have just, well, we didn't really have all the gear to do it, though. But, I mean, as soon as we had our, our like, piece of hazmat, we should have just gone down, like our last piece of hazmat. We should have just gone down and done that research bunker. Got it out of the way with, so we knew where, what was going on with Anna. Actually, you know what? We got 7.1 kilometers. I might whip over there today. We'll see how it's going, though. I don't know. I think we need to blue key card though to access her back room. I don't think it's a green one. But uh, we're definitely going to go to Jen to see if she's got a laser workbench. And if not, well, I don't know. Nice, wash the bike off. Don't think we got the bike clean enough the first time, so let's just wash it again. Well, third bike wash is the charm. Yep, I just made a huge error. I don't think we should go this way. Oh, man. This is not the right way. That's a little better. I think this is where we came over when we were leaving. Wow, those guys just disappeared beneath the ground. Okay. Yeah, this map is a lot rockier than I normally would make a map. At least now, anyway. I think what I, my most recent gen settings, I think I put flat, like flat planes at, oh, I gotta try and remember now, flat planes are 10, 
and then hills are four and I think mountains are one or two or something like that and that gives a pretty nice world Jen all right well here's Jen's town should just be able to quickly whip through here and go visit her all right let's go visit Jen why is there a f I was always where's air bears everywhere I go now I don't think there's anything for sale do we have anything we wanted to sell her not really I think we're holding on to the rest of that stuff the pistol machete's mine all right there you got club a couple things hey what's up Jen I see your inventory don't you point at me sell you that and sell you that and we're good with the rest now um, Oh, I should stop by our old horde base too. See if there's anything. I should get the machine gun, some, like the SMG turret and stuff. All right, not a lot there. Nothing that I really want there. Nothing that I want there. Nothing there. I'm gonna take your. Well, I don't have my money on me. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for being an idiot. Storage, coin. How did you get in? They cut a hole somewhere? It's possible. Um, Alright. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Molotovs. Let's just get six. I'll buy them all. Fuck it. Um, shotgun. Um, we're okay, I think, for the rest of the stuff. Do you have any hazmat? So you didn't have... No hazmat. You didn't have... The workbench we wanted. Laser workbench. Alright. Let's safe. go down to Anna. We got a bit of time. Right? Right? It's like just a little past midday. See, you start like in the middle of the night handling things. And you can get, finally get shit done. You just don't need to sleep. Speaking of sleep, I bet you that would be the killer of most people in a zombie apocalypse, not sleeping. And then you would end up just dozing off at the wrong time. Like you'd be too paranoid to sleep, so you'd be trying to stay awake at all times, which you can't really do. Like, I mean, I want to talk. I get like, what, between five and six hours of sleep a night. That's like my norm. And like, I'm tired. I'm tired most of the time, but I mean, not all the time. But still, I could just imagine just dozing off because you're just too paranoid to fall asleep. And then that would that, that's what would kill you. You just wouldn't hear a zombie creeping up on you and that would be it. That's why having friends is important. All right, so this is a whole other town here. And it's a big one. Okay. Question is though, is it in the waste? No, I don't think it's even in the wasteland. So we have to find the trader here. Is this a city though? Or is it just a big town? Get to find the trader. And we'll go to Annis first. Ooh man, okay. Um Say waypoint, library. All right, we got a cracker book. Not the best cracker book. We also got a downtown, which will cause frame rate issues for me. What else? She's over there. Oink. We'll have to come down here when we have a free day. I'm interested to see how I, might I respond with the downtown here. If it's like the one back at my old place, or like if I haven't loaded all the buildings in downtown, is it will it cause an issue? Or if I've gone through downtown and loaded all the buildings, if you you know what I mean, then will it be an issue? I don't know. That's the trader, I think. Is it? 
It is. It's wrecked. Why haven't we... Haven't we been here before? I thought we were here before. Maybe I'm thinking one of my offline playthroughs. There's like a wreck in the south. Yeah, see, I think the wasteland's just right there. Go we'll find Annas. There we go. Right there. Oh, and a construction site, too. Bonus. Alright, Anna. I am going to go to the construction site first. Simply because... We're going to have zombies showing up. So I might as well be out here. Gathering some resources. While they all spawn in. Handle them when they show up, then we'll go visit Anna and be undisturbed. You know, when you want, when you go visit a new lady or a new person for the first time, always better to be undisturbed. Focus on what they're saying. Come on, you fuckers. I bought Molotovs. Not enough to get for a Molotov. I should really start making a uh, titanium spear. Yeah, I'm getting lag here. Just a little bit, but I am getting it. If they want this. Hey, it's up, you. Look what I got. There you go. Someone behind me, too. Uh, off to the side. Whoop! Miss. Swing and a miss. Alright, we got a radiated guy coming out of the POI. Kill the adds first if we can, and we'll deal with the radiated guy. She should bleed out. Come here, you. You and me. Manoa, Manoa construction worker oh See ya. Yeah, she bled out. You're dead. And you're dead. Whole lot of nothing. Wow, generator. One less I have to make. Anything I don't have to make is good. Now, how much do I want to go in here? That's a nice pickaxe. Ah, Mo can always be counted on for having good shiz. Alright, I'm just gonna go grab the, this cement. And the cobble. Whatever I can get with shovel. Thank God I can one-hit this stuff now. It's so easy just to rip through places. Yeah, you bang down up there. Do I want the stone? How much do I get per pallet? 157, eh? Hmm. Hey, Mo. I'm mining, leave me alone. Or I'll mine you. Hey, you're breaking my shit. I was down here mining for human brains, didn't find any. Alright, well. Sun's starting to get low. Sun's starting to get real low. Oh, there's, um... Some more over here. Oh. Oh. Clean it out. All of it. Excellent. Oh, man. Okay, let's so use you. We'll use that. And let's go visit Anna. 
Oh, for fuck's sakes. They're still coming. Feral sense and darkness falls. Gotta love it. All right, now there's a... I don't think there's anything in that room over there. I'm not going to search any of this stuff, but I will. Where's my wrench? Oh, well, it's in the bike. Damn it. I, I, I gotta go get it. There's stuff down here I want to wrench. Oh, come on. Okay, what can we store? And where is my... There you are. Let's put you there for now. And we can put in that. Because I did... Ooh, got more room for other... Ah, fuck it. Just go. I'm wasting time. All right, she's just down here. Now, she's in impervious building. I shouldn't have to worry about people getting in. She should be right in here. There you are. How's it going? Nice place, by the way. You got the best prices in the way. Well, that didn't take long. Nice. Work. All right, what do I want? Coil shells or coil rounds? What's cheaper to make? I think the coil rounds are probably cheaper to make. Uh, we just let's just go with the shells because we haven't been making them. Although the energy cells would be nice, I think. Actually, we got two things, so let's take the energy cells as well. Oh man. We're not going to be using those anytime soon. All right, you got any jobs? And a quest one. Research, research rescue from hell. So this is the bunker. Oh, that's opening trade routes. We know there's a trader down there. It's just south of wreck number one's town. So that's actually not that far. So that's the big library right there. Right? No, the big library's there. So that's actually not too far into the wasteland. What do you got for me? Anything good? I'm not going to open her lockers just yet. But we will grab the stuff from here. Grab those. So she's got a few lockers in the back room. And some ch hardened chests too. So we'll hold off. Um, she doesn't need any of this stuff. Like, let's face it, she's not doing research anymore. We'll just take the research desks apart. Right? She's not doing research? We don't need this. Right? That's where she was testing out zombies and whatnot. Uh, we'll just close this up. Now there's another room here. Did I just break these? Now nah, we got some bookshelves. Pistole. Alright, four things we can scrap. Take all that. Another thing we can scrap. Some more we can scrap. Any half decent clothes? Got something with a die, and I'll take that. Die. Toilet. I should maybe. <laughs> if I was a doctor, yeah, I'm just gonna check her poop just to see where she's been. Um, let's just scrap these guys up. We gotta get home, man. We got a whole base to fix. Ooh, more bookshelves. There's a couple more rooms here to check before we go, though. So that's actually not bad. We're coming back with a half-decent amount of pages, too, which is nice. Yeah, probably around 100 or so. We can sell that stuff. Nothing there. I want the springs. We can scrap the rest. So you can get scrapped. I can ditch you. Don't need that. Break these up.
That's a half decent amount of steel. I'm not going to break too much because we'll probably call a screamer. This is another research room. So we're only four points to spend, eh? Ooh, what's in here? Paper. Paper. We'll break these two desks up. So we should have enough for maybe two levels of uh, advanced tech, which I think we have to be level 154 anyway, so I don't think we can actually do that yet. So if we go to skills, technology, future is now. We can unlock it, but I don't think, maybe we can just unlock it. One of these needs, that needs to be player level 100, player level 75. 125. We're, I don't think we're 125 yet. 109. So we can unlock the first two levels. So what does that give us? In terms of... It opens up this stuff for sure, I think. Laser sword, power hammer, power uh, plasma axe recipe. So not quite here yet. So 16 more levels and we can make pulse grenades, laser pistols, laser sniper rifle. Hmm. Okay. So we've got Accelerated Healing, which heals you when you're down to 50% health, and Transhuman, which reduces incoming damage. And then Physical Conditioning increases your stamina regen, and Gotta Go Fast increases your mobility. So it's either mobility or, or hit points. It's damage resistance. Increases block damage and mining tools. It actually may be better to go to biological boosts. It's definitely better for survival. But this is better for my playstyle for fighting. Player Increases player health by 50. So I could have 350 health. Increase mobility by 15% and stamina by 25% when running. Well, I'm not losing any stamina now as it is when I'm running. It's not like it's that vital to me then. Alright, well. We got the last quest then. That's good. We got crickets outside, so I'm going to head out. I don't think... I think we got to come back here. And search that when we get to be around level 25 maybe. 125 that is because I think that's what's going to give us the laser pistol right what's our loot level here does it say loot stage 389 so when do we pick up the laser stuff then that's my question is it gated with that or player level Game stage 234. Yeah, I think we're going to start seeing... Um, we're going to start seeing uh, demons very shortly on the uh, Horde Knights, which is not good for us. Although I think I can make a laser battery, and I think I can put a laser battery into... Ooh, more coffee. I think I can put a laser battery into the uh, sledge turrets. The junk sledges. Uh, let's go to Rex. So if our junk sledges are defeating demon regen, like stopping the demon regen, then we should be able to kill them on the walkway. Is somebody in here? Oh, buddy. We should be able to kill them on the walkway then if the, if the regen is in bork. Do ya? Can I see your inventory? Got some stuff to sell ya. Um, where's the cash we just picked up? I have a fat stack of cash somewhere. Oh, I got right there. All right, we're gonna worry about the other stuff later. Let's just take a quick look at what you've got. Got a duster, eh? Maybe we could fly out of here. Uh, nothing. Gonna take that. We didn't make a lot of coin on this friggin' mission, but that's fine. Molotovs. Let's just take them. 
Seven six two. Do I just want to buy it? I don't know. Now we got to save our money. Wow, whole ten gunpowder, huh? Sure. Any hazmat? No. A sale is a sale. Yeah, I'm out of here. All right. Well, I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna go to our old horde base on the way home. And I am going to grab up whatever we left behind there. I don't think we left too much behind, but I'll grab whatever we left behind. Am I going the right way? I am. Um, then I'm going to head to our new home and get as much stuff moving as I can. Steel, whatever. We made a fair bit of steel today and last and yesterday, like at the uh, research center. We got electrical parts. Going to get some more coil batteries going. Uh, bullet tips, bullet casings, get some stuff going so we can make ammo. Um, and then when we come back tomorrow, what we'll do is we will go and back to our horde base and get it up and running. A lot of gas? Really? Do I have any gas in there? Yeah. I don't know am I out of gas. Um, get the old horde, or get our whole base, horde base up and running. And then upgrade as much stuff as I can with to stainless steel. The walkway needs to be stainless. Um, and then we got to get at least the blocks they blew up last time to steel on the ground. So if we end up with issues with demos, then at least uh, we're protected. And once that's done, um, we'll have the horde base at least ready to go for the next horde. Worst case scenario, like I mean if we do start to encounter demons, wow. I'm heading towards the city. I'm getting major lag. Um, worst case scenario, uh, what we do is um, close up the windows and just handle the people that show up at the door until we can get some half decent weaponry to handle um, demons and stuff. Because that short that short catwalk is going to make it tough to kill demons. I'm also too wondering uh, if they're banging on the walkway more because that hatch is up. Some of them run straight by, but the hatch that I have on the post on the outside might be blocking some of their pathing. So I'm gonna put that down for the next Horde Knight and see how that goes, and see if they can see it as a straight path. Because I think the one block dip is causing an issue uh, with their pathing, because they wanna, they, they try to get up to your level I mean, it, sh it really shouldn't, though. Because they go down one, or down a quarter block. Anyway, I gotta think about it. I I'm just gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.